My name's Darren, I'm the head chef at Pit House Kitchen Garden. Today I'm going to cook a dish of panage pork. This pig that I'll be serving you today would have led a life where it's been allowed for, for over two months to roam the new forest where it can explore forage for acorns, chestnuts, beech mast, root as nature intended, rummaging through the soil, finding invertebrates, vegetables, roots and other delicious things. It's the autumn month, so it's panage season. And Panage is turning up the pigs at this time of year to eat up the acorns and the beech mast. And as you can see, got some of our pigs behind us now. And the pigs really enjoy their life out on the forest, you know, snuffling about in the undergrowth. It's all natural to them. You know, eating berries, herbs and, and grasses and things like that does make for this incredible flavour. In this pork chop that we have here, it's got excellent fat covering and you only really get that from well-reared outdoor pigs that have had a natural upbringing and an amazing diet foraging for what they love to eat. We're driving through the forest now, trying to find some of our pigs. Well, the forest is about 255,000 acres and the animals can just keep going. They can use any part of that space. And so a lot of people are used to shop brought pork, you know, buying from the supermarkets. And once they've tried panage pork for the first time, I think they're absolutely blown away by it. They wish they could have it all year round. So the life that this panage pig has led will be vastly different to a factory farm pig. They are kept in very, very small places. They aren't allowed to exhibit any natural behaviours at all. There's no room for them to display behaviours as they would do in their natural environment. And the end product is, is vastly different because of the life that this pig has led, where it's been allowed the space, it's been allowed the time to mature, it's been allowed the time to develop flavour layers of fats at a natural rate, not as an intensely farmed product for consumerism. The fat here you can see is crisped up really nicely. It doesn't have that soapy, watery, greasy texture that you would find in factory farm pork. As a chef, high welfare pork is incredibly important to me and frankly, I turn my nose up at factory reared pork. 